No, your eyes have not deceived you. You read that title correctly. Roronor Zoro, Pirate Hunter, King of Hell, and First Mate of the Straw Hat Crew has finally achieved observation hockey, future sight levels to the level of sweet commander for the Big Mom crew, Kata Curry himself, the man, the myth, the legend. Now, where is my evidence for this? Well, we need to look no further than chapter 1076. It's your host of the most griever as always, bringing you guys this clearly evident to anyone with any level of reading comprehension. We can see definitively that Zoro can see into the future. As of chapter 1076, we don't even go any farther than the very first page. On the very first page, of course, we have the Seraphim attacking Luffy and Zoro as the CP0 agents, Kaku and Luchi, lay on the ground, handcuffed with sea stone handcuffs, and they were asked, hey, Release us with the, from these handcuffs. Release us now and we will assist you. We will team up and we will help you defeat the Seraphim. And how do we open up the following chapter? The current chapter, 1076? Well, we have Zoro saying, Even if we take your handcuffs off and fight together, I can't see a future where you let us lock you up again. There it is. There it is. Who else can see into the future in this series? Who else has future sight abilities? Well, it was first laid out to us in the Whole Cake Island arc. We met Charlotte D. Katakuri, and he, his observation hockey was so humongous big, was so grandiose that it allowed him glimpses into the future itself. That's how good this man was. He had observation hockey for days, weeks, months, even years compared to anything we had seen before. Now, of course, we know that certain uh, other characters have gained that ability. Of course, the captain of the Straw Hat crew, our main character, Monkey D. Luffy, also possesses future sight. And we're inclined to believe a few other characters alongside Luffy, Yonko level characters, definitely have that level of observation hockey, but Zoro officially joins their ranks today because right then and there, that speech bubble says it all. I can't see a future where you let us lock you up again. He can't see the future because it doesn't exist because he looked into the future. That's what you must take away from this dialogue, ladies and gentlemen. He can't see that future because he looked into that future. He did some Doctor Strange level Infinity War shit. Zoro looked into the future and could not see a future where Kaku and Luchi would say, yep, lock us up again because that future doesn't exist. Zoro clearly meant he already saw the future and that future was not looking like they were being honest with him. It's, it's straightforward. It's very easy. Now, of course, the one thing, the only thing that can definitively say that this is not the case, that it's just a term of phrase or that it's just a fun dialogue translation, right? Oh, no, 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 ladies and gentlemen, because this translation clearly is the one we must follow. Because if we were to go to the official Viz translation of this chapter, the actual Translation, according to Viz, says, I can't possibly see you submitting to them again. Referring to Luchi and Kaku submitting to the handcuffs again, letting them put them back on. Now, of course, of course, I can't possibly see. We're implying once again, it's plain as day. He's already looking. He's already looked into the future and he did not see. He can't possibly see something that doesn't exist when he's already looked into the future. Now, of course, even if you don't want to say future is not mentioned in sight, and once again, this is just a little more hyperbole. This is not really what he's meaning and what he meant. That's just you're inferring an implication that isn't really there. Well, let's first and foremost just throw out the Viz translation right out of the gate then, right? Right? I mean, I'm not going to listen to a translation team that thinks Animal Kingdom Pirates is a good idea. So, this translation, 
is just obviously the weaker of the two translations. Right then and there, we put that one aside. Now there is another translation, not official, that, is, that a lot of people read. And in that particular one, the translation is simply only, I can't see you letting us cuff you again later. Once again, implying Zoro can't see it happening because he already looked. I mean, it's just plain as day to me, ladies and gentlemen. There is no way you can read anything else into it. Roranor Zoro, first mate, king of hell of the Straw Hat crew, and with over a billion berry bounty is here to have observation. It just makes sense. His bounty went up. He's over a billion. It's time he had the observation hockey to prove it and sit down at the table with the master of donuts himself, Charlotte D. Kata Curry. He's sitting down there drinking the tea and eating the donuts alongside with. Now, I'm sure Zoro's tea is spiked with a little bit of something something, but regardless, He's sitting down there going, yeah, man. You see into that future? Yeah, I saw into that future last Tuesday. Yeah, we should really start betting on some sports. Why? I don't know. It just seems like a good idea. Nah, it's fine. You know, they, they, don't, don't, they don't care about making money. They don't care about that. They can turn themselves in if they want all that, all that sweet coin. So, you know, this to me is just so obvious. He's still implying the C. So I'm going off the limb. We threw out the Viz translation, clearly. But between the other two, of course, I am going to go with the I can't see a future one. However, even if we go with the other translation, it's still I can't see this happening because he looked, ladies and gentlemen. So to me, it's plain as day. Roranor Zoro has officially, as of Egghead Island arc, post one of time, he's not only gained advanced conquerors hockey, he has also gained at observation hockey level to the point of Katakuri and Luffy's future sight. Probably not as good, we can, we can infer that, but he's definitely got that future sight hockey. Now I hope most of you stayed here to the end of the video to find out that this, yes, this is a gag video. This is obviously a gag. No, I don't actually believe any of this. If you guys have watched any of my other content during the actual chapter 1076, uh, reaction video and a couple of streams I have mentioned that I thought that people are so crazy sp specifically theorists and power scalers in the One Piece community will literally take uh, two dots in the background of some panel that Oda draws and create an entire elaborate theory on how that explains Sanji over Zoro in power scaling terms and stuff it gets ridiculous and when I first read that translation uh, for chapter 1076 I just thought somebody's gonna take that line and run with it someone's gonna infer way too much read way too much into that one line and go Zoro's got future sight hockey and I, since I haven't seen anybody make a video quite yet on it, though I did see one Reddit uh, post on it so far, I said I gotta hit while the while the iron's hot, and I gotta make this as a funny gag. So absolutely, of course, uh, Zoro has improved since Wano. Does he have future sight observation hockey yet? Probably not. Will he ever get it? Maybe, probably by the end of the series. But yeah, no. This it was just a line. It doesn't refer to anything. Just. So no one takes this too seriously. I just thought I'd have a little bit of a gag video, a little bit of fun with it. Um, because I said I was going to make it, and here it is. So anyways, guys, that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, the, just this little bit of a funny sort of extended short, if you will. So uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys back here next time. Have a good one. Sayonara.